D.C. Get it done now. Congressman Murphy. Get it done now. Senator Specter. Get it done now. Congressman Murphy. Get it done now. Senator Casey. Get it done now. Congress. Get it done now. Congress. Get it done now. Senate. Get it done now. They're too afraid. Some are your neighbors. Some of some of them are your family, your children. Many people got laid off, lost their jobs, and cannot afford four hundred to six hundred dollar a month cobra payments. People that don't want to go to the emergency room and incur more debt, losing their homes, unable to eat. They're out there. It would be not compassionate and not humane to deny these people affordable access to health care. Hold up, yeah. Yeah. Well, I myself have a pre-existing condition. I have rheumatoid arthritis. So I've tried to drop my health insurance and go to another carrier. And they laugh at me. Oh, you, you, we can't cover you. And if they do cover me, they want it for double what I have now. And I pay monthly $1,500 for my wife and I. I'm not whether you're against it. I'm for everybody having health insurance, regardless. I, if they're against me or against the plan, fine. But I am still for you to have your option to have public health insurance. Thank you very much. And thank you, Robert. Public option now. 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 Elizabeth had energy, enthusiasm, a sense of adventure, an openness to life and all its experiences. She loved to read and write poetry. She loved art and drawing. She wanted to travel the world and meet all the interesting people in it. Liz had a heart of gold. She was intensely sympathetic and empathetic. She took on the hurt of others deeply. She seemed to feel it was her job to make everyone feel better and feel welcome. These were some of the words spoken by her mother at the memorial service for my niece. Elizabeth died August 14, 2008 in a Connecticut hospital ICU at the age of... There was 400 people in Erie yesterday morning. We have another event in Scranton this afternoon. On Monday, two of the biggest Labor Day parades in the country, in Philadelphia and in Pittsburgh, are dedicated to health care reform. There's another Labor Day parade in Reading dedicated to health care reform. And on Tuesday, we're going to be at 30th Street Station as we give a send-off to Senator Arlen Specter, 
sending him back to Washington to get health care reform done right now. Yeah. Congress is going to do this and President Obama is going to do it, but the reason they're going to do it is because you've been out here working day after day, coming to events, and building a movement for health care reform. I've been going around the state now for two years on health care, and I often say this is the most important legislation we are going to do in this country, with the exception of the Civil Rights Bills of 64 and 65, since Social Security.